But Jamie, rare occasion this. It's like David Attenborough, and when you finally see someone do work. <laughs> and he's struggling, he is. Come on, big boy. Get yeah, them muscles around it. Good morning, fine YouTube people. Hope you all had a brilliant weekend. And it a lot better when weather's nice, eh? Well, it's, whew, I don't know where you are in country, but it's Monday now. It's absolutely glorious here. Uh, can be a bit too warm actually at times doing fencing. Today and tomorrow, apparently, 27 degrees. Whew, just what the doctor ordered. But like I say, it can get a bit much sometimes. Uh, so yeah, I've been out this morning early. I'm actually over in BD5, just seeing a little school to me at, right here. Um, just want a bit of railings and um, a single gate to go with some existing galvanised ones I've got like old school 20mm railings heavy stuff uh, it's only about five and odd metres it's something or nothing uh, I'll get Carl to price that one up um, so yeah the lads are back over at Cleck Eaton and I've already had a phone call off Justin saying the clients were working through a contractor and the client who owns the site is like literally out every couple of hours orders stuff and then changes his mind and says he wants this, he wants that. So basically we've done Palisade at back, he wants it double paling. Um, then he's gone on holiday, the main guy who owns it. And the maintenance guy have told my guys, they started putting some mesh up at the front, some twin mesh. Uh, and apparently it, it came out Friday, and I were actually there with Joe getting some footage. Sound, loved it. Oh yeah, I love that. Yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah, brilliant. Over at weekend, he's left a message with his maintenance guy. Uh, oh no, I don't want it like that. I want them turn panels turning the other way around, so fittings are on the outside. I mean, it's got a clamp bar fitting everything how it's supposed to be. Uh, so he just expects us to dig it all out and start again and turn them round on one of his whims. So <laughs> it's like that's what he's like. All guys that are working on site are sick of him. He's literally a nightmare. But it's not really our problem. Luckily, I'm not working direct for him. I'm working with his contractor, so it's his problem. You know, um, now if he wants some digging out, that is up to him. But obviously, he's going to pay us for what we've already installed, and he's going to pay us to take them out, and then he's going to pay us to install them again, which seems daft to me. But I think he's one of those, he's a bit eccentric, and he's obviously loaded, so he's not bothered. Um, sorry, I'm just going to have a milk because somebody's uh, I'm kind of blocking somebody's drive there. I <laughs> uh, just thought I'd get a video before I forget. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm just waiting to see because the main contractor guy who we're working for, uh, he's sound, but uh, he, he, I think they're sick of, I think they just want to get off the site, they're sick of him. Um, so he's apparently on his way down to sort it out, so I'm waiting for a phone call off either him or the lads to say what's going to happen next, but, you know, um, it, 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 this job, which we're going nice, is turning into a nightmare. Uh, in fact, the contractor lads were meant to be there last week doing a concrete plinth so we can get his post in. They haven't been there since last Wednesday, apparently. They all went to Ascot. Fair enough, but, you know, it's kind of holding us up now. Um, I reckon my lads could more or less be done there this week, but they won't now because they've been held up. So, yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare at the minute, so we'll, <laughs> we'll see what happens with that one. But one way or another, I, you know, we need paying for what we've already done, so anyway. I shall see with that one. Um, I'm going to go back now and get this one priced up and let Carl know. Um, I'll pass this one on to Carl. It's one more for him, really. So I will get back to you. So, Monday again. We're here. We've cut an all in fence. We've dropped van through. So we're going to be starting up here today. We're going to be knocking a few of these off. First post is going to go nice and tight up to there. And we're going to be going all the way down getting this in and then it goes all the way down there and then it's actually start shuttering what lads are doing down there that'll be concreted and hopefully we'll be helping helping them with that and getting getting them in yeah we're gonna get cracked on let's go but jamie rare occasion this it's like david Attenborough, and when you finally see someone do work <laughs> and he's struggling he is come on big boy get them muscles around it <laughs> yeah, it's being filmed, it does. 
How yeah. deep's your hole, Jamie? Huh? How deep's your hole? Oh, big day today, guys. Gates coming out. We've already got one out. Jamie on Stilly will take this other section out. Then we'll get Digger off and get Pecker on there. Down there. And he's cutting fence out. So we're going to be replacing these with some big double gates and a single gate to go there as well. Replace most of the fencing on the outskirt for a minute now. So big 2.4 gates going in. All the electric's been disconnected. I'll be going to pick up the gate shortly. Right, I best go because we'll need an on getting this gate off. Here we are. Just gone and got gates now. Just snapping that off. Not these ones. I already done this one, yeah? Just snapped it. Bit rusty and thin though, won't it? It's got that. Going well. Whew. Okay, I can't believe how hot it is. It's like dark in here in shade because it's absolutely red out there. That sun's just gone in a bit now, but it's really humid. I've just unloaded, I'll turn it around. Just unloaded the full wagon. It's all that there, I've just moved it all about. So I can still get in and out with vans. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> Miss Garloff, somebody at the school, uh, business manager. I keep ringing her back, she keeps ringing me in between them, load it bad. Be going on about an hour, it's like telephone tennis, keep missing each other. I was going to try it again now, uh, and I'm off to hospital, I've got an appointment, see a specialist there, uh, Goldstones, see what's happening and what they want to do with me. Carl's just gone through his dinner, I think he's just pulled up back now, he's just uh, beavering away, making some railings for a little job he's got. Uh, so yeah, that's me, I've just been catching up with me admin, booking up fencing into stock. Uh, so yeah, I've had a productive day, had a good meeting this morning with somebody I know who's put, gonna put some procedures and stuff in place for me. Uh, just try and get things running a bit smoothly. See what I can come up with. So yes, that will be it for me. So I'm gonna go home and quickly get my dinner, get a quick change because I'm blathering in oil. Uh, and then I'll make my way over to uh, Yorkshire Clinic. So I shall probably see you tomorrow. Hi there, yeah, so I'm just over in Doncaster for SAS Senior Architectural uh, Systems. I hadn't actually been to this place before. We did another big factory that they moved into, not far from here, a couple of miles. Uh, this is their main depot, actually. Absolute massive place. There's all that one, all that down there. And then we've got this massive shed on the side of the road as well. Basically, as you can see, gates have been rammed, I keep ramming them. They make like aluminium stuff for windows and, you know, fascias, all that. So, as you can imagine, the price of aluminium, quite a bit, bit of money, so I think. People keep breaking into nick the stock, but anyway, I'll turn it round, see what we're up against. So yeah, as, as you can see, they've bent all these gates here, which are not. On first glance, the picture you sent me, I thought, oh, I might be able to repair these, but on closer inspection, as you can see, it's all bent, oh, that's all bent out like that. So they, they were actually automated, but they've stopped using them because it wasn't really secure enough for them. Telling me they weren't really secure enough for them and wagon drivers and that were just literally pushing them open and stuff like that so they're going to do away with the automation and get an automated barrier or something there. Um, so the, I've took the measurement, the um, 6.9 metres they are um, to be dug in. These, a lot of dig these out, re-concrete it because it's slightly bent. Um, same with this one. I think this one's okay actually, but well, it's really, I think I'll just dig around it, reset it, and then probably new gates to match these. But I'll probably do away with these bottom pins. I'll probably just put three hinges on like this. The big mulches are then 25 mil pins. But yeah, it's a bit of a bod job. You normally have bottoms on them like this when they're underground motors, but it ain't. It's actually actually a barrier arm on it um, which is strange I didn't really come across that before but yeah so the gap between that and that is 140 mil this is uh, 90 by 50 2.4 palisade but I'd probably have a middle bar on ours like I say I get three inches on something like that to match 
uh, 65 mil to middle and then that's uh, 80 mil there yeah and that's 40 mil in between them 80 and that's uh, they're 60 mil yeah 25 mil pins so we need something similar set up to that but like i said i'd have three of them one two three the gate automation don't worry about it they're not using that um so yeah that's one and then yeah, that's one option just new gate leaves and repair these and then the second option is a bit of palisade down down here do away with these gates come off there a bit of palisade um, and then have a new set of gates here across here um, and I said he said oh, I want some more I said well you'll end up with a gap because it's on a slope there I don't know will the camera's picking that up so he said oh we'll just have them opening in as normal and we'll put some ballads there because they can get they can actually go around there anyway to get into there so it's not a problem so yeah that's that's that just about to leave and I was pulling out of gates there and I thought you know because to keep getting the gates rammed